Hey guys, welcome to the workout where you read it right. We are going to be on the couch, so you're just gonna need a pair of weights, grab a pair of dumbbells, anywhere from two to 20 pounds. But if you're using 20, then you're a beast. Leave it in the comments below. We'll be working everything from our shoulders, some triceps, chest, of course, core activation, and a little lower body. So be sure you are using full intensity, mind and muscle connection, and without further ado, let's get started. First up, we're gonna grab a weight, so put it on overhead. Get those elbows nice and close to the side of your face, so not way out here, don't open it up. Keep it right here all the way up. Good, so activating the tricep. Nice tricep extension. Good. So here, watch your core, make sure your abs are engaged. That's going to help support and protect the spine. I'm sure if you've been working out with me for a long, you're like, yes, I know all these things. You don't have to say them 100 times, but I'm going to. There you go, all the way up. Isolate the back of the arms. Those are your triceps. Good. Neck is relaxed. Bring those shoulders down so we're not hunching them up into our ears. Good. Give me five more. Breathe. Four. Nice and tall. Two. And one. Bring that down. Okay, this time we're gonna go into some tricep dips. So this is a little bit of shoulder because they are secondary, but I want everything to be nice and engaged. So go ahead and grab the edge of your couch or your chair or your bed or wherever you are. Itch your eye if you have an itch like me. Okay, so chair position, scoot the booty back. You don't want it way out here, none of this, and bring it down, good. All the way till you feel a little stretch in the shoulders. Breathe, very nice. Squeeze at the top. Don't push through the heels. This is all upper body. Good. Last four. Three, two, and one. Okay, set it up. Move it around. Feel okay. Everything's good. Okay, grab both weights. We are going into a shoulder press right here. Bring it down in front of the face. Make it an Arnold. Good. Exhale. Nice tight core. Breathe. And you can definitely use um, a couple different sets of weights. If you have twos, fives, tens, twelves, use a variety. See what's gonna give you the most bang for your buck through these workouts. When I'm just working out on my own, I'll usually have a couple different pairs set out. And that way I can go back and forth, kind of increase my intensity as I go. And then I don't sacrifice form because I just wanna push heavier weight. So I'll go down and grab something lighter. All the way up, good. Last two, and one. Okay, so set those down somewhere out of the way of the couch cushions, wherever you are. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, we've done side planks in my videos before, but this time I just want you to prop yourself up on your hand and your wrist, or your elbow is fine too. And we're gonna kick it out and just hold that hip up. Okay, and hold, good. So here I want you to think about the oblique, it's activated. The entire trunk or core is pretty engaged here. Obviously your arm is being put to work. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring it up safe. Other side. Okay, hip up, hold it, hold it. And if this hurts your wrist, you guys can go down on your elbow. And your forearm, that's fine too. Hold it. Squeeze the oblique, squeeze the abs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, like that little curtsy as I get up. Bring it back down, grab your weights. So this one, we are doing a fly, but we're seated to kind of protect our spine. It's a little bit of an active rest. So we're gonna be here, nice square shoulders. Okay, drop them down. Nice bend at the elbow, bring it right up. Good, exhale. And here you want to relax the neck as much as you can. Most people tend to favor one side, and so you'll see some people doing this exercise where one side of their trap kind of engages a little more. So the goal here is to make the muscles work at the same time, at the same pace, same cadence, same intensity. Good. Give me six more. Through the elbow, five, four. 
Keep going. Three, two, give me a good one. All the way up, hold. Five, four, three, burns. One, bring it down. Okay, so back to our dips. We're gonna do something a little different. So bring it on down, right here. Okay, pop one leg up. There you go. Give me four more here. Last two, and one, and switch, good. Flex that toe towards you. Activate the quad just a bit. And two, and one, okay. Should burn, you're doing good. Bring it up, a little active rest without the couch. This time we are going to do a deadlift, this little posterior chain. Bring it all the way down, nice flat back. Bring it up, and squeeze, good. A little wider than hip width today. Soft knee, good. All the way up, tight core here too. It's very easy just to stretch down and kind of be lazy with this one. So make sure you're being very intentional. Squeeze, slow it down, up, squeeze, slow it down, good. And this would be a good one to grab a heavier pair of weights if you have any by you. Give me two more. Good, low back, hamstrings, glutes. All the way up, perfect. Back into our side plank. How are you doing, hanging in there with me? This time, if this is bugging your wrist, it's kind of bugging mine, go ahead and make a fist. Might work, might work for you, works for me. Okay, hands on hips. Nice, breathe. Squeeze the core, and I don't want hips way out like this. No major angles, okay? Unless they're natural angles. Some of you got some great natural angles. Me, not so much. <laughs> Keep going, hold, hold, hold. Good, so bleak is on fire. That's why we're here, okay, and bring it down. Back up, other side. I don't know what I'm doing with my feet here. Good. And hold it. Okay, this wrist has very little stability compared to my right. I'm not doing the fist over here. My forearm is like going crazy. Maybe I should do this more often. Hold it, use the abs, breathe, squeeze. Three, two, one, okay. And bring it back to your chair or your couch. Both of these weights, triceps overhead. Bring it up, elbows together, right into that extension. you bring this down until you have a nice stretch. Very good. So with these exercises, make sure you slow it down more than you speed up. My cadence is pretty much as fast as you should be going for these videos. Last one. Woo, burden. Okay, hold on to this guy. Okay, this one, a little different. So we're gonna activate the quad right here. So in chair position, lift that leg, bring that toe up to the ceiling or the sky, all the way up, opposite arms, opposite legs, see? Good. Single arm shoulder press. And this knee does not need to be locked out. You don't need a stiff, super straight leg. Just soften that knee. Two more. Bring it down and switch to the other side right away. Engage the quad. All these nice little things that we can do just to get more bang for our buck through a workout. All about it. Good. Relax the neck. Last three, two, and one. Okay, bring it down. And now we're gonna go into some push-ups. So grab some space here. You can use an ottoman or a chair. You could be on the floor that time too. But otherwise, grab your cushion. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Grab your cushion. Okay, about hip width apart with your feet, all the way up. Good. So tighten the core here. Hips should not be pushed back. Relax the neck. Don't jut the chin forward. Last four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, my wrists. They're working a little bit harder than everything else today. Okay, back up into shoulders, two triceps. So give me four shoulder press all the way up. 
three, two, one. Hold, bring them together. Triceps up, three, two, one. Bring it down, here we go. Four, three, two, one. Hold together, four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring it down, hold it right here. Should burn a little bit. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and set those down. Now we are going to finish this round off. We're gonna do a little bit of lunges, a little bit of lower body activation. So kick that leg back onto a seat cushion. Okay, hands on hips, bring it down, back up. Good. Watch that knee, please. Don't let it go over the foot. Nice. Tighten those abs up in the front. Relax the front of the neck, but open the chest. Keep going. Good ankle stability here. Should burn. Make it work. Keep going. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Other side. Same thing. Right on into it. Good. Working that lower body. Keep going. All the way up. Press through that heel. That torso stays nice and still. Good, breathe. Here we go, last five. Four, three, two, and whew, one. Oh my gosh. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for working out with me. I hope you enjoyed that short and sweet if that is all the time you have. Otherwise, go through two or three rounds. Make sure to make it count. Leave those comments after you do the workout. Let me know how it goes. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one or on social media at kelsoolee.com. See you soon.